At this defining moment in our history, the question is not, are you better off than you were four years ago? We all know the answer to that. The real question is, will our country be better off four years from now? How will we lift our economy and restore America's place in the world? Here's what I'll do as president. To deal with our current emergency, I'll launch a rescue plan for the middle class that begins with a tax cut for 95% of working Americans. If you have a job, pay taxes, and make less than $200,000 a year, you'll get a tax cut. I'll end the tax breaks for companies that ship our jobs overseas and give them to companies that create jobs here in America. And I'll make low-cost loans available to small businesses. To build our economy for the future, I'll focus on our urgent national priorities, reducing the cost of health care, breaking our dependence on foreign oil, and making sure that every child gets the education they need to compete. How will I pay for these priorities? First, we've got to stop spending $10 billion a month in Iraq while they run up a surplus. I'll end this war responsibly so we can invest here at home. We'll monitor the Wall Street rescue plan carefully, making sure taxpayers are protected and CEOs don't game the system. I'll let the temporary Bush tax cuts for the wealthiest 2% expire and close the corporate tax loopholes the lobbyists put in. I'll order a top-to-bottom audit of government spending and eliminate programs that don't work. We face real challenges, and they won't be easy to solve. But we can do it if we end the mindless partisanship, the divisiveness, curb special interest power, and restore our sense of common purpose. I'm Barack Obama. I approve this message and ask for your vote. Because if we stand together, we can meet our challenges and ensure that there are better days ahead.